If there's one thing that readers can't stand, it's when somebody gives their favorite book a one-star review. To me, a one-star review is very specific. This book was a complete and utter waste of ink and paper and, and my time. Honestly, I think those types of books are pretty rare. A one-star sucks, a five-star is great, a three-star is a book. That's how it should be, but it isn't. So today, I'm going to be making fun of you. Well, at least those of you who left one-star reviews on my favorite young adult books. I'll do it respectfully and anonymously, but just know that I know who you are. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This series is one of my favorites, but I will say now that the first book wasn't the greatest. I don't think it was worth a one-star, but I can understand why people didn't exactly love it or continue the series. Should have stopped reading at the mention of his tale. Be nice to Cardin's tail. We all know that he is sensitive about it. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean you can attack its insecurities. Body shaming is so 2013. DNF at 1%. Now before I get righteously angry and you also get righteously angry, let me finish reading this. The first chapter was a test and I failed it. Best fair. The first chapter was brutal. Holly Black wanted to make you feel the blood on that carpet. And I felt it and it was, I didn't, I didn't like what I was feeling. I didn't like it. So I can't give you a hard time for that one. That that being said, if you're DNFing at 1% because the first chapter was too violent, you shouldn't be allowed to review a book. Actually, if you're DNFing without finishing like 10% of the book, you shouldn't be allowed to leave a review at all. Reviews are supposed to talk about books as a whole. You DNFing isn't because the book as a whole is bad. It's because you got to a point and you just weren't vibing with it. You didn't finish the book. I can already feel I'm getting too emotionally invested in this. I'm sorry, you guys. You're going to see it. You're going to see a dark side of me. I didn't want to show it to the public, but I get angry and I'm not going to hold back. That's a complete lie. I want to get monetized on YouTube, so I'm going to avoid the swears as much as possible. Eh, nah. What the fuck? Did you see that tag? Do you see that tag? It says audio. I would argue one of the main reasons I got through book one was because the audiobook narrator was so good. She was the same narrator who did Keeper of the Lost Cities. We'll talk about that book later in the video. And she can make the dude character sound like dudes, even though she's a girl voicing the dudes. Like, she's so good at what she does. Revoke your rating. I don't accept it. Take it back or else. I can't tell you what the or else is because YouTube will get mad at me, but trust me. It lies somewhere between no more cookies and the French Revolution. 1.5 stars. I didn't enjoy it as much as I had hoped. This is the most reasonable reviewer I have ever seen in my life. I wish there were more of you. It's kind of off-putting to see a good one-star review. I don't like the bully to lover trope. I hate it. Cardin almost killing Jude in the beginning killed the vibe for me. <clears throat> don't forget the ugh. First of all, it's called enemies to lovers. Don't call it bullies to lovers. That makes the whole genre feel silly. Is that because the genre is silly? I don't want to answer that question. I don't want to get too mad at this person because I did do a little bit of a deep dive onto their Goodreads account. I'm petty, what can I say? And they gave Keeper of the Lost Cities four stars. It's a pretty good book, that's, that's what I gave it. Though I will say, you don't get away scot-free because, anonymous reviewer, I did some more deep diving and I saw you gave a Court of Silver Flames four stars if nesta wasn't a bully for the entirety of that book i don't know what she was nesta's horrid to use your words she's more of a bully than an enemy even i don't like making people look stupid on the internet that's not a passion of mine i wish i could show you a montage of videos of me doing that exact thing but i don't have the montage yet this is going to be the first one in in the future montage but yeah i keep referencing keeper of the lost city so let's talk about it now this is technically middle grade but as the story goes on i think it gets more young adult this is actually the pipeline book that got me to making a bookstagram account and then making a booktube account so this one's dear to my heart dnf at two percent two percent you couldn't even read a single chapter why are you giving it the milk treatment do you do you, do you get the joke it's because two percent milk you get it's the two percent milk I'm, I'm sorry i want to apologize to you guys honestly i hated this book and was expecting so much more this is a pretty disgusting book disgusting book it's for 10 year olds, especially with someone like Sophie for the main character. I generally don't like Mary Sue characters and this is the perfect stereotype for it. She is so annoyingly special. She is so smart, but in reality, she's literally an idiot. I've read several books in this series and all Sophie does for at least 80% of the book is go, hmm, I wonder why. You've read multiple books in the series. If you read more than the first book, I feel like you're not allowed to give a one star because it made you read the other books. If you genuinely deeply hated and thought it was a waste of ink and paper and space and just mental capacity, you would not have read another one of the books. The last thing I'd say is all the characters would be better if they were more diverse. The dwarves, the people who work for the elves, just happen to have dark skin. This is canon art of what the dwarves look like. If anything, that's a furry. And the greatest part of this ever is I did a deep dive on this person's account too because 
I'm petty. I'm petty. They give Percy Jackson five stars. You know what Percy Jackson isn't? Diverse. Rick Rorden has said it himself. He was like, yeah, the first series wasn't very diverse. And I tried to change that and grow in my future books, which he did. But how are you complaining about that? How are you complaining when Percy Jackson is the same? I just, I don't understand this human being. And also I can't get over the fact they called this book disgusting. You need to diversify your reading, I think. Check out Tender as the Flesh if you're curious about disgusting. That's rancid. I just realized this might have been written by a middle schooler. The target age group is 9 to 12, so I might just be bullying a kid. Now, now I feel bad. I think I have to redeem myself and, and make up for this. I'm sorry. There's a part at the end of the review where they say 1.5 out of 5 stars rounded down to 1. When looking at decimals from a mathematical standpoint, if it's over 1.5, you round up. So considering that your review was 1.5, it should be a 2 star review. I just want to help spread knowledge to the younglings. I sincerely hope that you get a gold star on all of your tests. I have reread the book two times now. I'm so bewildered because the first time I read it, I gave it 4.5 stars. When I reread it, however, I gave it 1.25 stars, rounded down to one. I only included this review because it's a very good example of how to correctly round numbers. New drinking game. Take a shot every time you're reminded how special Sophie is. Considering the fact this book is for 9 to 12 year olds, I don't think we should make a drinking game. I'm going to invalidate the rest of your review for poor advice. Oh, this one's fun. I wish I could rate it negative stars. This book single-handedly murdered me and my family and then ate my dead corpse. That one was just funny. Incredibly dramatic. I felt a need to share it with you all. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've been having a lot of fun with this series. So let's see what the haters are saying. No Benadryl. It's okay this book exists. Okay, that was funny. I'm giving you funny points. I have this character flaw where I value humor over someone's opinions. So if you're funny, I like you. I like to laugh. What can I say? I have never been more disappointed in a book in my life. This is the most disappointing book you've read in your entire life? That's impressive. The only decent thing in this book is Grayson Hawthorne, who's surrounded by idiots. Grayson was my least favorite brother in the entire series until the Brothers Hawthorne book, which was the spin-off sequel fourth book. That book made me love him. But before that, he was a brick wall. Wall. Like, completely uninteresting to me. I already am just not on the same page as this person. These clever riddles could be solved by an eight-year-old. And let's not forget that one of the love interests is treating the MC, Avery, like an object. A puzzle to solve, and he's trying to pass it off as flirting. Maybe I'm biased because I listened to the audiobook, but I wasn't even trying to solve the mysteries. I was just along for the ride. If I was trying to read a heavy, deep, complicated mystery novel, it wouldn't be young adult. Oh yeah, and the guy that was treating her like a puzzle? I wonder if that was because his grandfather left his multi-billion dollar inheritance to a random strange girl that nobody's ever met. Maybe I'm a bad guy, but I'd also be kind of curious what's going on with this girl. Who is she? I'm not giving it two stars because it didn't blow my mind. Two stars means it blew your mind? If that's what a two star review is to you, what the heck is a five star? Does it blow other things? <laughs> that's crazy. That's a crazy statement. If Twilight was a young adult mystery, it would be a lot like the inheritance games. Well, Twilight is already halfway there because it is young adult. And Robert Pattinson thinks it's a mystery that is so popular popular and even got published, and he plays our favorite vampire. Technically, Twilight is a young adult mystery already. Checkmate. This review is pretty long-winded, but they did say one thing I totally agreed with. The chemistry does feel weird for a bit. There's a weird love triangle, and it just is, is it's odd. I'm not sure how I feel about all of it. Besides that, though, they're crazy. I don't, I don't know what's going on in their head. I mean, I'll be the bigger man and say you're entitled to your opinion, obviously. All these people are entitled to their opinion. I'm not gonna, like, bash you for it. I have kind of been bashing you for it. I'm sorry. That's why I'm keeping you anonymous because you guys don't even know I could be the one writing these reviews. This entire video could be fabricated. I could have made up every single one of those. And just to prove that I'm a good writer, that'd be a lot of work though. So there's, <laughs> there's no shot I would do that. I do not have that kind of work ethic. Or do I? Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the next book? Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This book is a sci-fi cyberpunk retelling of Cinderella. Super random. Very awesome. And it's got a whole lot going on in it. I read this right after Keeper of Lost Cities. And it's the reason I found Fourth Wing because they share an audiobook narrator. So again, another near and dear story to my heart. And the characters are fun and charming. So you know what? Let's see what my enemies have to say. A book so bad, I forgot the main character's name like two seconds after being done with it. Her name is Cinder. It's in the title. It is the title. The title is her her name. How, how do you forget the name? And if you're talking about Prince Kai, Kai is like the easiest name to remember. It's three letters. Do you know how many famous Kais there are? Kai Azure from Powerless. Kai Sanat, famous Twitch streamer. He did a stream with Nicki Minaj. Kai, the red ninja from Ninjago. That's my boy. Even Kai, the villain from Kung Fu Panda 3 with the twirly. Have you seen that movie? It was a pretty good movie. And there's a bunch of other famous Kais like, uh, like, 
famous people named Kai. Like Kai Green, professional bodybuilder, actor, and nicknamed the Predator. Predator? What? Uh, I'm gonna choose a different one. Kai Hansen, a German musician who is the founder, lead guitarist, and vocalist of power metal band Gamma Ray. I don't know who this guy is, but he was the second result, so he's probably famous. I don't think any of this actually secured my point whatsoever. But it's three letters! K-A-I! A-I is popular right now, so that, that, that's already half of it figured out in your brain. Just add the K. I think you not knowing the name speaks more about your brain power than the actual book. And yes, I know this person's probably exaggerating, just having a fun time making a shit post. I know I seem angry, I'm just having a good time this is very fun smiley face it's an okay book i'm not into it but i hope others like it smiley face i love you you are a wonderful person thank you for existing i want to know more about you how did you find yourself in the sea of one star reviews how did you get here i would love to know why you only gave it one star but you know what the double smiley faces i'll stand back i'll let you live your life we're friends we're homies give me a fist bump. please give me a fist bump thank you i appreciate i appreciate the fist bump book one star audiobook two stars it was a pretty good audiobook anyway the only reason i didn't dnf this was because of the audiobook i really didn't find cinder or any of the other characters relatable and in books i need at least one character that i can relate to that being said i did love Ico. the book ended in a cliffhanger which was fine by me i mean it is a series and from what i've heard you find out more later in the series i'm gonna pause you there really you find out more about the story later in the series that's cr i've never heard of that before i'm sorry i'm being a jerk for no reason now although i don't really care that the cliffhanger is there it doesn't make me want to read the rest of the series who knows i may continue lunar chronicles someday it makes me a bit sad that i didn't like cinder more because i loved marissa meyer's renegades trilogy so much first renegades was awesome i also love renegades second this was actually a valuable review they didn't like it that's why it's one star here are the reasons boom Logic. One star reviews are typically an ocean of deep seated hate, ranging from political distress to the writing was icky. So it's kind of refreshing to read a review by somebody who just didn't like it and wanted to express why. And I imagine it was so tame and logical because they really liked Marissa Meyer's other books. So I think we can all appreciate that. But because the entire point of this video is to make fun of strangers, I am going to say that you should have given it two stars. Your review seems more like a two star review. It doesn't belong in that sea of deep seated hate. It belongs on the desert island of two star reviews, where there's an oasis of tears and all Colleen Hoover books go for their final rest. And I'm kidding because I've never read a Colleen Hoover book. Don't get mad at me, please. I want people to like me. That's why I made this video that's probably going to be very polarizing. I probably should have thought about that before I recorded for an hour, but uh, here, here we are. I'm actually going to upgrade your review from one star to two stars on your behalf. So I'm glad that we could come to an agreement. Outro by me. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see another one like this, let me know in the comments. I've been thinking about doing a new adult series with Fourth Wing, Akatar, books like that. And just know this is all in good fun. Of course, everybody's entitled to their opinions. I disliked a lot of very popular books, so you know, that's just how it is. And if you want to be more active in the community, check out our Discord server, link below. We have a book club and we do a lot of community events. Lots of people chat about books every day. So it's a great place to make bookish friends and get updates on my content, etc. And if you want to see more of me particularly for some reason, you can check out my live streams on Twitch. I go live multiple times every week. Thanks for watching. And until next time, deuces. It's water, YouTube. It's water. This is not my first time recording this video, but you know what? I don't want to talk about it.